Hey guys, it's me Skelly here. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a series of individual frames, individual images just like this, into a video just like this using Shotcut. So what we have here is just a folder full of all the individual frames I'll be using. You'll want to put this into a single folder just to keep things simple. Next you'll want to open Shotcut. And then you will want to set the video mode to be what you need. For the purposes of this, I'm going to go to settings, video mode, and set it to 4K at 24 frames per second. Next, what I want to do is I'll go to playlist, which is up here. I'll click on that and it will open the playlist menu. I will go to my folder of individual frames, drag in the first image, and then I will go to properties, which is over here. I'll want to make sure that the duration is set to one frame. By default, when you install Shotcut, it is five seconds, which looks like this. But for the purposes of what we want to do today, we'll need to set this to just one frame. So it'll look like this, with the rightmost set of digits being the frames, then the seconds, then the minutes, then the hours. We want to set click on set default and this will set it as the default duration for when you import images. You can change this later back to five seconds which will make things easier when you're just general purpose editing in Shotcut. But for this we need this set to just one frame. We can go back to our playlist which is now in a tab down here and we'll just remove all then we can import every single one of these images. So I'll do control A to select all, and then I shall click and drag this into the playlist. This will import every single image from that folder into the playlist, and it will take a while depending on how many images you have. I have 444 images, so it'll take probably over a minute to import, but I'll skip to when that's finished. Once that's done, you'll see your playlist is full of all of your individual frames. And what you can do now is go to the playlist menu, select all, then go back to the playlist menu and click add selected to timeline. What this will do is it'll get every single still frame and add it one by one sequentially to the timeline each frame being only one, each image we've imported only lasting for one individual frame. This will take a little bit of time depending on how many frames you have and it'll be stuck at preparing for a little while, but once it gets going it is quite fast. As you can see here, it is adding all of the frames to the, to the timeline one by one and it's quite quick. And once we've done that, that is more or less all you have to do. Now something worthy of note is these are all individual little clips in the timeline. That's how it works. They're all tiny little clips and this makes it near impossible to actually edit with this. So if you want to edit this any further what you want to do is you want to export it as a video. So I'll just go up here to export which is the CD icon I'll go to advanced just for the purposes of this video and I'm going to turn off audio as there is no audio in here so we don't really need an, ad an additional stream in our video file and all the rest should be just fine. So I'll export this as stars. It already exists here because I did this earlier so I'll just replace it. And you'll see here in the jobs it's going to start processing. Now, keep in mind, it is going to be stuck at 0% for quite a while. Do not let that concern you. It is just part of the magic that is Shotcut. But once it starts going, it should pick up its pace quite quickly. So I shall skip to when that starts. Once it's finished exporting, you can right click on the job here and click show in folder and it will show your video right here. Now you can do whatever you want with this video, you can upload it, edit it further, do whatever you like. We have now finished 
the job. We are done. If you found this video helpful, please do like the video, share it with anyone you think would also find it helpful. And thank you for watching.